happy Monday. I did my laundry this morning, went to a workout. It's been very productive so far. I'm quickly gonna do my morning skincare routine and start the day. I have just a lot of work, errands, things to do. I'm gonna show you guys this essence that I'm using. It's been my holy grail for like years now, but I just got a new one. I had to wait until my friend brought it back from Korea. And I actually saw that it's on Amazon now. That's why I wanna share it because you guys can actually get your hands on it. But it's this premium peptide volume essence and it's crazy good. All you do is like brush it against your face and when it starts to foam and bubble after a couple of seconds, then you just gently pat. And it'll continue to like foam and bubble, but just continue to tap. Just use like two to three pumps. Anything like peptide I feel like is really usually good and it's anti-wrinkle skin brightening. I feel like after I use this, my makeup just sets really well. It looks amazing and I love it. Finally, I'm able to rave about it and also know that you guys can get your hands on it. Wanted to share that with you guys. Just got some new groceries. I'm gonna make a taco salad for lunch and I forgot cheese, so I just got this delivered. It's my second time getting delivery from Fridge No More. They deliver your groceries in less than 15 minutes, so it's perfect, especially like when you're making something and you forget like an ingredient like me, I forgot the cheese. Show you guys what I got. First thing, because I don't want this to melt, I got this mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mint chocolate chip is my favorite. So I got that. And then I got some salsa for my taco salad because I don't think I'm going to have enough. Also, sorry for the background noise. The dryer is currently running. Got some avocados. Two lemons. Also, their fruits and veggies seem quite fresh as well, so I like that a lot. Got a lime, got some cheese for the taco salad, and this was a small order, but I got some salt, vinegar, and sugar because I'm gonna be making some pickled red onions today. I love to make pickled red onions at home because they're just like good with everything, avocado toast, salads, you name it. So I'll show you guys my little recipe there. I'm gonna start off with cooking some rice. I love taco salads because it's just like throwing in all your favorite vegetables, adding some salsa, but. I have a little mini rice cooker, it's so cute. I always do the fingernail trick, that's what my mom taught me. Okay, that should be perfect. Add some sour cream and some salsa. And then the last part is I just love to add some chips. Finally sitting down having some lunch. This is the final thing. It's very good. I think I made it a bit too big, but I'm gonna eat it all. And I started this new Korean drama. It's called Beloved Summer, I think. It's so good. You eat this, watch, and then get back to work. But. Time to make some pickled red onions. Do I really know what I'm doing? I mean, kind of, not really. But I feel like you can't really go wrong. Let's do this together. So what I have is, like I said, water. You need some salt, vinegar, 
and sugar. And this will be a game changer for your salads, your avocado toast, anything. You can just add this and it's so good. I have three red onions here that I'm gonna use. I just emptied out a old like pasta sauce jar. These onions making me cry. Spicy, okay, and now I'm gonna boil two cups of water. And then I'm gonna add a fourth cup of sugar. And this time I used apple vinegar. I normally use just regular white vinegar. I don't know if it's gonna make a huge difference, but I guess we'll find out if sugar and then a tablespoon of salt. Just gonna eyeball it. The red onions in this jar. And then I just like leave it out for a little bit um, until it cools down before I put it in the fridge. It smells good. Mmm, I'm excited. I feel like it's gonna be good. Thank you. Yes, please. Thank you. Happy holidays. Hey guys, so I just got back from running a couple of errands. Just some little things I need to get done that I had pushed aside. But anyways, I wanted to like sit down and share with you guys my December favorites. It's been a minute since I've done one of these favorite videos, sit down kind of style. But it's the end of the year and there's just been a couple of things that I've been really liking and enjoying these past couple of months as the year ends so I want to share them let's just get started I'm gonna start off with some beauty products the first thing is this lip glass it's currently what I'm wearing right now as well and in most of my videos but this is love nectar such a beautiful gloss with a little bit of sparkle I'll just here you guys but it's just so nice, a really good daily lip gloss. Next is this Peptide Tornado Cleanser. And I actually found out about this last year, but I got a second bottle and I love it. This is probably the one holy grail piece that I wanna show you guys in my skincare routine because I think cleansing is such a crucial part of maintaining good skin. I did quickly highlight this cleanser in my Nashville vlog, but I wanted to share more specifically. So these walnut pieces kind of help exfoliate. And for the longest time I had been using like the wrong cleanser. I was using a cleansing foam and it was really drying out my skin. And this was a game changer because it is gel cleanser. So it's very mild, gentle, and all skin types can use it. While the walnut pieces still help exfoliate and it doesn't strip your skin. So I have been loving this. I usually use this about four times a week on the days that I'm usually wearing makeup. Next, moving on to jewelry, I want to share with you guys a couple of specific pieces that I have loved and have been wearing nonstop and I think are just great pieces to have. But first is Ideal. I found out about this brand this year and you know I've been wearing their earrings non-stop. I have a couple on right now, but the one that I particularly love is this one. It's so dainty. I like this because you can attach it but I could actually attach this piece on the front here and also add to the back. I think that would have been really pretty as well. This is great also if you have like a cartilage piercing, you can also do this as well. So I think this is just a great little addition. And then another one that I really like, this little add-on piece, which is like a little teardrop diamond, but I could add it on top of here as well. And it's just a gorgeous. And then for a couple of rings from Missouri that I have loved, this diamond team ring. I have received so many questions about this in a lot of my Instagram posts, but I love styling it with my Cartier love ring. I would definitely say this is a personal favorite. I have shown it to you guys, but I love it. I also recently got this one. This is the newest edition, but it is so beautiful and I think it's great on its own as well. It's just such a statement piece. 
And then I've been layering this Missouri Pave Diamond Bar Bracelet with like my Cartier pieces. And I think they look really good together. Just kind of adds like a little subtle touch. Lastly, of course, some clothes that I want to share with you guys specifically kind of winter related. I want to start off with this turtleneck. I love wearing turtlenecks in the winter. I feel like not everyone loves turtlenecks, but personally for me, I love it. I actually just love the ones that like stay up and it kind of like droops down on its own. This one is from Sana New York. It looks like this. And I also got another one from Sana New York. I have a beige color as well as this like nice ivory one as well it's like a chunky knit and these are just great under a blazer coat nice to have in different neutral colors and these are really good quality so i'm gonna link these down below it actually has like a split on the side this one doesn't moving on to some pajamas that i've been loving i don't know about you guys but when i get a new set of good pajamas i get really excited maybe it's because i'm getting older but Sorry about the background noise, there's a lot of cars moving by, but it is from Cozy Earth. You guys have seen them in a bunch of my videos as well, but I have them in summer edition ones, like shorts with a short sleeve. I also have them in like the long, long version as well. This is the top white one. This is the long sleeve. But honestly, mainly the reason why I like it is the texture. It is just so soft and it's made out of bamboo fabric. So even in the summer, it keeps you really cool. In the winter, it keeps you warm. Just such a nice material. And now it's important for me to actually wear real pajamas when I go to bed rather than just a t-shirt. I find myself just sleeping better and I really appreciate a good pair of pajamas. You can actually get 45% off this is not sponsored, but they were kind enough to give me a discount code for you guys to use, and this is the biggest discount. If you're interested, these make great holiday gifts, and also just treat yourself to some nice pajamas. And then last but not least are coats. It is winter finally here in New York as well. It's getting very, very chilly, and I appreciate good coats that don't just make me look like a marshmallow, and I feel like you guys will too. So I'm gonna start off with this coat that I recently got from W Concept. It is gorgeous and you can also style them in so many different ways. It's really important for me when I find coats that it's not too heavy. It has to be the perfect length and it needs to keep me warm. Surprisingly, I'm not a person that would compromise comfort for fashion, so I'm not gonna buy a coat that's gonna not keep me warm. This one, it is great. I got it from W Concept. It's from a brand called Louvre. And so this is the coat on. I'm gonna first show you guys what it looks like on top. You can button it here, but you can also actually style it where you can lift it up. And there's another button that goes here. So I like wearing it like this when it's colder. It's really nice. It's just like a different style as well. And then also it comes with this little fur piece as well. Looks like this and then you can button it. But this is also just like a different cute way to style it. So very versatile. Really nice, pretty beige color. It also comes in, I think, two other colors as well. Surprisingly, this coat is one size, but it fits really well. The one thing I love about it is that when I wear like a chunky knit or layers, I don't feel really rigid in this coat. You know, I hate feeling like I'm stuck, but I have a lot of room inside, but I don't also feel like the coat is like swallowing me. And I'm 5'5", the length is great as well. It hits right in the middle of my calf. This next coat is a little bit more pricey, but it's just been the perfect black coat. I love the fit so much that I am actually considering getting the camel one as well. So I wanted to share with you guys again, but it is this totem coat. And honestly, the style is just so gorgeous and it is a bit oversized. So I got an extra, extra small, but this is what it looks like. This coat is definitely a bit more simple, but it's very versatile because you can wear it in so many different seasons. And I honestly think, other than the fit, the best part about this coat is how light it is. It almost feels like you're not wearing anything, but it's weird. It keeps you very warm. I definitely see it in my closet for a long time. That is everything. These are my December favorites. More like favorites of 2021. I've been loving them. I will link all of them down below. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I don't know if this is going to be the last video up before Christmas, but happy holidays, everyone. Hope you are all staying safe, healthy, warm, and I love you guys so much, and I will catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>